Hello everyone and welcome to a new weekly vlog, monthly vlog. I'm not sure yet, I just thought I'd pick up the camera every now and then and start kind of vlogging a bit more regularly. So, I've just signed up from work and today is one of those days, it's just, I don't know, my energy levels are really bad, I'm probably PMSing and it's just very sticky air, like it's very humid and it's just not a good place. But I've just gotten ready um, to go to the gym, put on my workout clothes and, you know, I just thought I'd pick up the camera because I always feel better when chatting with you and when, you know, I do feel a bit more productive. Today has actually been quite a good day. I'm just going to take off my jewelry because I'm not going to need any of that at the gym. Um, and I just feel better leaving all of that here. Um, but yeah, today has actually been quite a productive day. I was able to declutter all of my emails. Um, work was actually pretty um, smooth. Like actually, all of my meetings, everything went down pretty well. Um, so quite happy with that. I was also able to score another collaboration with a brand that I really want to work with. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy about that. Um, I have prepared a new YouTube video, so that is going to come live very soon. Um, just a fun little makeup one. Um, I don't really do these very often. I'm just going to put my hair up in a little ponytail. Just like that. I know it doesn't look good, but... Um, it's the most comfortable to wear when working out and yeah by the way the top that I'm wearing is super old and it's from H&M but it's so good to just pump over like to have as like a little cover and when I get too warm with it I can just put it off um, but yeah that has been today so that's actually been quite a good day um, I've also uploaded quite a few more things on Vinted. Um, I haven't really managed to share my Vinted account on here, um, basically just because it holds my last name. I don't want to share it. <laughs> um, and I don't think you can change your username on Vinted. But yeah, so I'm having my last sip of iced tea. And then I'm gonna go to the gym, which hopefully will pick up all of my energy levels again and just, you know, give me all the workout endorphins. Uh, but yeah, so far, that is that. Well, good morning to you. Um, I've pretty much wrecked myself yesterday. I went to the gym and I did like my regular training and then afterwards I felt like I still had the ache to move. So I went to this like insanity body combat class. Let me tell you that it's not a class you combine with something else, but it's very much like based on like kickboxing, um, boxing, um, a bit of bachacha was in there as well, which was surprising, um, and just, you know, taekwondo, a few different, uh, techniques, and it was just insane, like, by the point I got home, I just, I was so tired, luckily my boyfriend cooked dinner, I just had dinner, um, I finished my book, um, It Ends With Us, Oh my god, I had such a cry. If you read that book, then let me know because I really had to cry. Um, and I really want to read the second part now. But yeah, I just fell asleep and that's basically it. So yeah, I have just gotten ready um, or I'm about to get ready. I'm still sipping on my coffee, deciding on kind of what to wear. I'm starting out with this top, which is Urban Revivo. It's this really nice little, like knitted little top. Let me pull it down. Yeah, and then I'm gonna try and prop the camera differently. Okay, maybe like that. And then I've paired this with some linen trousers. These are from Naked and apparently it's about to rain, but after that it's going to be very warm. So I thought these would be like a nice kind of in between. And I'm just thinking of what, which shoes to go with them. So I was thinking either my Vans or if it rains, loafers would be a nice idea. But I always feel like they give a bit of a grandma vibe. Um, and especially with these like wide leg shorts. Not sure if I'm feeling them. So yeah, I just popped on my Tory Burch flats. And I gotta say, I really like how that looks. It's kind of hard for me to show on camera, but 
oops, this could go totally wrong. But yeah, okay, so that, that should work. Okay, so here come the Charlie Birch flats. And I, and I do really like that slight hint of pink that it adds to the outfit. I really do like that. So yeah, I think these are going to be my shoes for today. So they make it look a bit more modern, a bit more girly. Um, and not too much of the old money thing. So yeah, that is that look. I'm still trying to brush out my curls by not brushing them out too much because last night I only used the heatless curls. I didn't even bother getting my straighteners out um, to curl. And this is how they look. And usually I just prefer not to brush them out. I know it looks better when they're brushed out, but if they hang themselves out throughout the day, it's nicer if they, you know, just do that by themselves. But yeah, I think that should work. I always feel like a bit of like an 80s, 80s hair going up when I do this. But yeah, okay, so that is that. I won't need a bag because I have my gym bag packed. The only thing I'm not sure is about, you know, what to do with a jacket. I feel like I might need one, maybe just popping on a trench coat on top would work but then I have to carry it later Ugh, I hate this type of weather but yeah I'll check what I do with my jacket um, and then I'm gonna get going and talk to you on a different note <laughs> Good morning. Okay, so I've just done my makeup and I'm still feeling a bit sleepy, which is why I thought a time lapse would be a good idea. Um, I have just tried out this new um, eyeshadow, no, eyelash glue, um, it's called. It's from NYX and so far I've always used like a wax tint um, and brushed that in my eyebrows. And then I was thinking, is there a way of making this process shorter? Because currently I'm using two products and I always have to wet my brush before using it and then applying it. And then I saw this and it's like a gel. It's also translucent and then you already get the wetted brush inside because this gel is like a lot more liquid. And then I just put this on and I don't know if you can see, but this deserves the name glue like it when i put this on it was like so stuck up high um and even then afterwards when i was filling them in i still had to like really push it to be able to move any hairs so i'm thinking this is probably going to be the best thing i've ever tried i was even thinking if i should try it in a tinted version but i'm very happy with filling them in with the wax um i feel like the color suits me very well all right, so that is me done. I've got my coffee mug right here. And yes, I have a travel coffee mug here. Uh, basically, just because my boyfriend sometimes does my morning coffee for me. Or he makes me a morning coffee. And when I'm still too sleepy to even have that, um, and I don't want to, you know, have to cool it off and then reheat it, uh, he puts it in a travel mug, which is what he did today. So, cheers. Okay, that feels amazing. Okay, so I thought whilst I'm getting ready for work, I would kind of go through my process of how I built an outfit for the day with you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously check the weather and see what it says there. Okay, so it's 19, 20 degrees, um, cloudy supposedly getting sunny later and then it rains around six o'clock okay so by six I'll be getting off my horse because I'm having horse riding lessons at five later today um, and then I would usually say okay it's, it's kind of it's not really rainy because by the time that it supposedly rains I'll be long gone um, 
the rest of the day is a bit cloudy um, and it's warm but it's not sunny um, until later so that means I would either wear like a pair of linen trousers something loose and you know white fit very comfortable or I would wear a dress and sneakers probably but since I don't I don't really feel like wearing a dress well there are two options that I could wear first one would B, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling something white today. So my options for today are, first of all, these pair of like long white like trousers. They're from Wooly Silk, super lovely quality. Um, and they're just really comfortable. Then if we go for a dress, I have this one from H&M, which is just this very simple little boucle dress. I do like this one. It does fit rather tight, I would say. Not in terms of it being too tight, but you do have to think I'm riding a bike to work. So sometimes I like, or most of the times, I like to have more like a fit and flair when I go. Just because then, you know, if I wear a dress to work, I can still ride my bike and it will be fine. But I think I can manage with this one as well. And then I also have this one, which honestly I think would be my favorite choice. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a caramelin little tweedy dress. Um, and it has this lining inside, which honestly annoys me so much. But it has this like very polyester uh, lining in it, which makes it so, so warm um, and so unbreathable. So I honestly don't really reach for it that often. Um, I do really like it. I'm just thinking maybe with all the glitter in it, it's maybe a bit too much for a dull Thursday. So I'm going to see if I can find a top to pair with the trousers. And if not, if I'm not feeling uh, like putting that effort into it today, then I'll just go with a dress. So how I do that is I go on my phone and I have folders um, of different outfits. Um, so I'm going to type in workwear outfits. And as you can see, I bet you can. Oops. There is like one folder on my phone that says workwear outfits and it has all, not all of my workwear outfits, but some of them I have saved. And then I'm just going to flick through, see if there's anything I've created with my trousers. For example, this one, which has just like a beige um, or a pink top and a pink belt with my Bella flats. I do like this, but I wore the flats yesterday and I don't want to wear the same shoes twice in a row. I love this outfit, which is the top that I wore yesterday with the white trousers and the sling bags. I love this look. But again, I wore this top yesterday. Um, um, oh, this one's really nice with the stripes. Um, I love this look. The thing is just, I think it's maybe a bit too warm to wear a jumper yet, so probably not for today. Um, I've got a million ideas on how to style white trousers, but I don't know if I really have that for today. I could potentially wear it with this striped short sleeve. Okay, so I've got this um, striped little short sleeve, which is from Rihara's. Um, it's a cream color, so it might not go perfectly with the trousers, but I'm gonna pop it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so the outfit is on. I'm wearing this striped top and then the white trousers, and I thought I would just pair my little sling back flats with it. That would be the look. Alternatively, I'm thinking if that may be a bit much. Um, and then I thought I would just pop a little belt on. I think I'm going to go for the brown side. Um, and this one's my, my coach um, reversible belt. So you can wear it both ways. And I feel, since I already have the stripes, I'm going to go with the simple brown side okay and then that would be my outfit for today how do I feel about it I love it I do really like it um, just gonna try wearing it with vans to make it a bit more casual Like that. 
you know what actually I'm thinking I'm just gonna put the dress on okay so best laid plans I love the previous outfit but you know I was thinking there's rarely ever a day where I feel like this dress has the appropriate temperature I'm already feeling kind of sticky and sweaty and I'm really thinking about um, going to the tailor and getting the lining out because I love the dress but the lining it is just it's not for me you know in fact I actually might do that now I'm gonna go to the tailor and ask him to get it out the thing is it's like probably soon in on the inside it's not something you could easily get out um, or maybe they can separate it so that I can wear it with and without it because even my H&M dress has a nicer fabric lining in it, but never mind. Okay, so that is the look, and I thought, you know, with the um, vans, it does look quite casual. And I actually might have done a thing yesterday, and I went on Vestia, and I ordered something, um, a pair of shoes. And I think they would have been perfect with this outfit. So I'm going to save this outfit to wear with these shoes, because it wasn't perfect with the sling bags and it wasn't perfect with the vans but it's going to be perfect with the new shoes that are going to come because they're a perfect mix in between so um yeah i'm gonna save that outfit for then um let's see when they'll arrive probably will take a while um but yeah that is my outfit for today i'm just gonna brush out my curls and put on some jewelry and then head to work good morning and a happy friday <laughs> um i keep cutting my vlogs off after I log in in the morning and then nothing else happens um, so yeah I gotta stop doing that because I assume it's gonna be probably be very boring for you but anyways I went to work yesterday I had my horse riding lesson afterwards um, if there are any horse riders with you it takes a while um, and it's getting better every single time and yeah, but I really, like, it was really intense um, yesterday. And then after that, I still went to the gym because I have my back um, day. So I split my workouts. Um, so different body parts on different days. Which means that if I skip a day, I will just leave out an entire body part. Which kind of helps me to motivate not to leave anything out. Because I don't want anything to be unproportional. So just gotta do it all um but yeah anyways that was fine and then my boyfriend cooked dinner again i'm so lucky this week um since he's been feeling like a bit of like a flu coming he doesn't want to work out which means he was home every single night which means he was able to cook while i was working out which was great um anyways so it's friday today and i kind of made it a habit to um swap my porridge on fridays for an acai bowl so i thought i'd quickly I show this to you because I actually really love this. Acai bowls are so healthy for you and I use these acai drops from a brand called Holy. Um, not sponsored or anything, I just really like them. So they're frozen acai drops and what I like about acai is, if you don't know it, it's a fruit that is kind of similar to blueberries I would say. The difference is it has so many more antioxidants which are great for like cell renewance. They're um, like even if you're apparently fighting cancer that helps um, but also in general for you know anti-aging effects like anything that would require a cell to renew itself so antioxidants are amazing and there are loads inside of acai and then also it has zero grams of sugar which is amazing like no other fruit like every fruit has got uh, like fruit sugar um, but acai bowls or acai doesn't have that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a few drops of that into my smoothie blender um just like that yeah that's probably enough then i'm gonna add a banana to add some sweetness and what i always like to do um is i chop off the end just so that i have a few uh, pieces i can decorate on the top later um, so I've got that. Then I'm adding protein powder and right now I'm using this one. Um, it's just a vegan protein powder. It's not my favorite one, but it tastes really good. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to use a scoop of that and add that in my bowl and then just pop on some oat milk and blend everything. This is the goodness that comes out of it. Um, and as you can see, it's a bit tricky getting it out one hand I usually use a scoop but 
it's just a really creamy consistency um, and the color is just a, so good. I've added some more chia seeds in um, for fiber and protein and a bit of water to make it even creamier. So yeah, let me just scoop in the rest. Okay, so definitely not the prettiest bowl I've ever made, but can you see how perfectly creamy this is? So, I've added the rest of the banana, peanut butter, coconut flakes, a few goji berries, which are similar in their benefits. They're another superfood. Um, some almonds, and then just some blueberries. And that is my breakfast. Okay, quick outfit of the day. I just had my lunch break, or well, I'm having my lunch break, and I just use it to film a couple of bits. So when I'm up and ready, like today, then I use lunch breaks to film a few things. I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see, this is the, the chaos that goes on behind the scenes. And yeah, um, I'll have to clean all of that up. But yeah, I think I have like 15 minutes left of my lunch break, which is the perfect time that I need in order to scramble myself some eggs um, and make like an avocado toast, which is going to be my lunch, and then I'll just hop back into work. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with what I just filmed. I think you're going to love it. Just need to find some time to edit it over the weekend, um, and then it will hopefully be up the week after. Well, actually, I have no idea when you'll see in this vlog, so it actually won't even matter. But yeah, I'll just get a cracking with my lunch. Okay, not the best, but it'll do for now. Um, so I've got eggs, I've got avocado, which isn't 100% ripe, but it'll do, and a bit of salmon and bread. So that's my lunch. Good morning. So it is a Saturday morning, or I should say noon. It's around 12.30 already, and I hate when it gets that late. Um, on the weekends. I just hate wasting my time. But yeah, we had a lovely night yesterday. Um, I met with some friends. We went to the gym. We had dinner afterwards and drinks, which was nice. And then we were in bed at 2.30 or something. So yeah, we had quite a lay-in this morning. Um, and then we had just had some pancakes and I just did my makeup. Um, and by the way, how cute is this headband? I feel like I haven't worn it enough last last winter and it's definitely giving the season right now. I'm already feeling so much in autumn mood, like I filmed a, f a full on autumn haul already and I just, I find myself looking a lot of like all of the autumn pics and TikToks and trends and I can't wait to pull up my tweeds and jackets and everything. Um, but yeah, until then I thought I would just get the rest out of my summer wardrobe because I do still have a summer holiday coming up in the mid of September which I know is quite late but I always do one in September and I don't know this year I just feel like it's maybe a bit too late that we're going but anyways so yeah I just got myself ready I've got my coffee here my boyfriend's on the phone right now we're planning just to go in the city stroll a bit I've seen a cardigan in H&M that I really want to try and get my hands on but it's sold out online so I'm trying to see maybe I can find it in store um, but yeah, I do have to run to the post office um, and pick up a parcel. I ordered something from Asus and I found my like white score that I have from Zara that I love to death and I found a very good dupe for that on Asus um, in black and in white. So I've ordered both because basically the one on, from Zara, the white one, um, the zipper broke and it's like it's very difficult fiddling in the makeup again which makes it very hard in case you do need to go, um, you know, to the bathroom or something new in a day it's always a struggle with it and then I also found it in black which is great because last winter or autumn I remember searching for a black mini skirt and I couldn't find the perfect one and I feel like this could really be a strong contender because I have this like a uh, pink and black top from Revolve and I really need a good matching black skirt for it and I don't really have these things in my wardrobe because I usually don't wear black but I've been getting into it last um, last winter and I feel like in autumn I can pull pull black off some, sometimes um so yeah that's that i'm gonna go downstairs now get the laundry basket ready run to the post office um and then get my outfit for the day on i don't yeah right now i'm just having my little um shirt that i sleep in and i feel like a very good like tiffany advertising billboard today because i'm having my earrings in my bracelet and also my necklace um 
but yeah, I kind of, I kind of felt all of these pieces individually, but now I've got everything together and it's a bit much, but I don't want to lose anything. Um, so yeah, maybe I'm just gonna go for the billboard look today. Thought I'd get the most out of my summer wardrobe, um, and just see which pieces I haven't worn that much, um, yet. And I'll get these out for today. And then do a bit of shopping, so actually it should be a nice day. Although I hate these days where I don't really have anything planned. But yeah, I'm just gonna get um, going and cracking with the laundry and then I'll show you once I have my outfit on. Okay, laundry is in and my outfit is on. So this is the blue top I was talking about. It's so cute with this like bow and this like halt neck detail. It's also back free. I feel like I haven't worn it enough, which is a shame because I really love it. And I was really desperate to get it and now I have it and I haven't really worn it that much. And then on my lower half, I've just paired this with these shorts, which are from self portrait about quite a while ago i'm gonna flip you around okay so i'm gonna flip you around so you can see better so yeah this is the top tucked into these shorts just quite a comfy look and then i'm still deciding on whether or not to pop my tory birch with it these little flats or the vans so like here's here's the thing i know it's probably gonna become the vans but the tory birch look cuter but the pants are just much more comfortable. I'm trying to find, I'm just trying to find an angle on where I can show you this outfit full. I think this does it quite well. So we've got the Tory Burch flats and we've got the vans. I do prefer the look with the Tory Burch, but I think we're going to walk a lot. So maybe the vans are going to be the more sensible option. But yeah, that is my outfit. Just going to pop my little coached heavy bag with me really like that one. I think I need some sunglasses for my head. I don't want to add to Tiffany's, um, but I'll grab my other ones. Okay, I think I might need some sunglasses to go on my head and then I'm just gonna take this um, bag, just pop in my hair tie, um, phone charger, my wallet obviously, and charging wire. Just shoving that all in. I'll need my phone as well, which always goes in the back pocket. And then that is mounted for today. Okay, please do not mind my hair. I still have it in my silk sausage, I call this thing. It's the heatless curl, like, headband. I use this all the time. Um, I had a very lovely session at the gym this morning. I went to one of the body pump classes I really really like these I think they're probably my favorite classes and yeah my hair is still trying to process what just happened I've completely washed it and everything but obviously I need my curls back so yeah they're staying up there had a lovely breakfast with my boyfriend he's now over at his sister's house and I picked up my Asus parcel which is really sh really small but I thought I'd just include a little unboxing or show you what I picked up. Okay, so the first thing that I got are these little um, sliders from New Look and I hope that you can see that they have this like raffia material. And honestly, I'm really impressed with them because I was worried they would be uncomfortable, but they have like a lining on the inside. So they look as though they're going to be super comfortable and I really just wanted a good like slide on shoe for summer because we are still going to Italy this year and I just needed another good pair because obviously my dune slides broke and until they restock these I just needed something. Um, I'm gonna pop a little clip on how I wear them or when I try them on. So far I think they look really promising and they were super cheap. Um, they're completely vegan and they were only I think 16 euros so that's pretty good. Okay, next up I got this little score, which is kind of a dupe to my Zara score, I would say. It looks like a skirt from the front and it has this little slit on the side. And then um, it's, you know, just shorts at the back. I'm going to give these a try, see how they look on. So far, if I compare them, I think I would still prefer the Zara ones. 
Let me just grab them. So these are the ones from Zara. And the material of these is just a bit more structured. And this one's more of like a jersey fabric. Um, also this is like a complete white and this is more of like a cream. So I would say on first glance I would probably prefer the ones from Zara. But if you didn't manage to get this one, um, I've been wearing this so often. It's like my go-to skirt. Um, and if I wouldn't have that, I think this would be a great alternative to get a similar effect and look. And yeah, I'll see how these fit because they look really comfy as well. And they don't have a zip, which is amazing because the zip on this one broke so quickly. So that's good. Let's see how these look on. I got the same one in black as well because I am lacking a black mini skirt and I just thought, you know, I've already gotten so much wear out of the Zara version of this one. I tried to buy the Zara version in black but I couldn't get my hands on it and yeah, now I've got this one in this like jersey material. I'll see how it looks on um, and how I like it. So that is that. Probably the most exciting one for you is the last thing that I got. And I picked up a little dress and this just when I saw this on the website I just thought it was so Zimmerman and so cute so it's an Aces edition um, dress and as you can see it has got so many floral details to it it has the lace um, that runs through it on multiple occasions balloon sleeves and this gorgeous floral print um, it's fit in flare so it flares out quite nicely and yeah, it just looks really cute. I'll see how I come up with the neckline because it looks as if it's quite low cut. You'll see it in a try on clips. But yeah, from what I can say, it looks really pretty. And I really do want to wear this in Italy. So potentially having to keep this one as well. So yeah, that has been my mini Aces unboxing. I will try on these pieces now and set the clips for you and then I will change into my outfit for the day. We're going to a little fest afterwards with friends, it's like a wine fest or something. Um, and maybe I'm going to stop by at my boyfriend's sister's house as well. So yeah, that are the plans for today. Okay, so I have gotten ready, I just finished shooting a reel with my new Massimo Duty order. And thought I'd just show you my outfit of the day for this casual Sunday meeting with friends outfit and yeah that is my look it's a simple white dress um it's from Abercrombie I love it I've been wearing it so much and I really just want to get the most wear out of it while I still can and yeah I just love the puffed sleeves the ruching and everything it's so cute I got all of my jewelry on these hoops which are my jewelry pearl necklace and it's like a gold one my boyfriend got me um my bangle that I bought in Central Pay then just my coach tabby bag and potentially already my new shoes I do really like them you do have to imagine um with like a proper pedicure because I don't have that right now but yeah I just think this outfit in total is so cute and something about my camera is definitely weird because it's really zoomed in and I can't zoom it out any further Usually I'd be able to get that frame just by holding it up, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to let you go now because I feel like the rest of um, the weekend is not something that I'm going to vlog. And also I think it's already been a longer vlog than I anticipated it to be. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and then I'll see you in the next vlog. So